This short video is to show how to merge two partitions together on a Mac. Remember, data in any partition is at risk when increasing, decreasing or deletion of a partition and data should be backed up before this operation. Anyway, to access the disk utility on a Mac from Spotlight search, type in disk utility to bring up the application. We have here an SSD from SanDisk which has a capacity of 500 gigabytes and it has been partitioned into two. A FAT32 partition uh, for access to both Windows and Mac and a Mac OS extended partition exclusively used by the Mac. In this instance, it is used as a Time Machine backup drive. To check the partition drive, select the partition from the top menu bar on selecting a partition, it will indicate how much data in that partition has, has been used in the shaded area. To merge a partition together and create a single time machine backup, click the Windows partition in the circle and click the negative icon. This will show the proposed partition using all the 500 gigabyte dedicated for the time machine backup. At this point, the partition has not been merged and can click the revert button at any time. Now going back to what we had before, click here and create one big partition. We will continue to merge the two partitions together and click apply. A message comes up, this partition will be, the Windows partition will be removed, click partition. This will take some time to complete. After a few minutes, the operation is successful. Another window pops up, do you want to use Time Machine, 500 gigabytes to back up with Time Machine? You've got the option of decide later, don't use, use as a backup disk. So what we'll say is we'll decide later. When you look at the, the disk, the data on the disk drive here, we can see that there's some already data there and the data has been merged together. So going back to the disk utility, we can go back here and we can see we've got a single partition. Uh, going back into the actual time machine here, we've we used 143 gigabytes, which was existing on the uh, original time machine partition. And we've got approximately 356 gigabytes free. I hope this video helped. Please subscribe and like.